welcome to North Carolina Law TV. Today we're going to talk about head and brain injuries, which are always serious and sometimes have lifelong implications. My guest today is attorney David Daggett of Daggett Schuler Law, and he's going to talk with us about this complex topic. It's very complex. Yeah. Thanks for being here, yeah, by the way. Yeah, thank you for having us. Well, David, what is a traumatic brain injury? Well, a traumatic brain injury is any trauma, which means a car accident, a fall, a strike to the head, any sort of trauma to the, to the head in which your brain, which floats inside your skull, is damaged. So this can happen uh, any time your head gets hit. Your brain floats in a jelly inside the skull, okay? That's what protects your brain. And your brain is very soft and very fragile. The inside of your skull is a little bit jagged and rough. So in an impact, a trauma, a, even a whiplash, your brain can hit the side, okay? So a concussion is a form of a traumatic brain injury. We're right. all familiar with concussions sure. in sports and that sure. sort of thing. So a concussion, and they can get, you know, they can be relatively minor or they can be very severe. Now, the, the sad thing about a brain injury is they are many times the unseen injury. And, and what tends to happen is people will suffer in silence, okay? Yeah. And, and that is, uh, we need to recognize the signs, recognize the symptoms, and, and they can test to, to yeah. see if there's been an impairment in brain function. Now, a severe brain injury, which, which obviously is extremely complicated, and you need outside medical help and legal help, you know, if, if you get severely hit in the brain and it affects the movement to this arm, well, that's pretty clear and that gets attention. But the concussion type injury, so uh, symptoms such as headaches, dizziness, mood changes, irritability, things like that, sometimes spotty vision, yeah. those sort of symptoms Friends and family need to be aware of those, help you with those, and then you need to get proper treatment for right. that. There's experts that can help you, yeah. and that's not an area where you suffer in silence. Right. It, from a legal point of view, the problem is you're dealing with an invisible injury yeah. to, in large degree. Sure. You, know, you don't see it. Right. Uh, there's not you know cuts or blood and guts or broken bones right. or something like that. You don't see it. Yeah. And so you need competent legal help in order to put those pieces together to make your claim to make sure you're appropriately compensated. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what you think about all the talk about football, but I'll tell you that if I had a child, a son playing football right now, I would be like, I don't know if I want him playing football. Because what, what is your take on all of the discussion and the recent movie about concussion and sports injuries? Sure, sure. Well, the recent movie was good, yeah. Concussion. But what it does is it brings awareness to the problem. So there's changes in football. Uh, there's changes in youth football. There's changes all the way up to pro football. In fact, the Ivy League, uh, Harvard, Yale, Brown, Princeton, right. the, the Dartmouth, those schools for the coming football season, uh, they are not doing live tackling in practice because their research on concussions. Wow, yeah. so big not, change. Yeah, big change. So not only are there rules that have been changed in the game itself to minimize and avoid concussions, but it's now trickling down to practice field. And so the, the awareness has been very good. Which is great. Which is great. Yeah. And you have to be aware of a problem before you can do something sure. about it. Sure. Sometimes the changes don't come about as fast as you would like. Yeah. I was speaking uh, with somebody just earlier today who works with the NFL. Uh, who says changes are coming, but they're coming slowly. Yeah, yeah. But but still, there's awareness, yeah. and we're doing something about it. And yeah. you know, moving in the positive direction is good. It's never as yeah. fast as I like it to right, be. Right, right. But we're moving in the positive. Yeah, direction. and I think that's good because these are devastating. Oh, they're de they're devastating and often lifelong. Yeah, yeah. For family members yeah. that that, that uh, live with somebody, you know, after my accident, when I got hit by a drunk driver, mm -hmm. you know, I got dinged a little bit and I, I don't want to overstate it but dinged a little bit yeah I was irritable for a few days yeah now I was sore too but you know right right yeah if someone has questions or has suffered this kind of an injury or the family member notices it how can they reach you well, for help well we have other information on this YouTube channel 
You can go to our uh, website at daggettsurelaw.com. You can call us at 336-724-1234. Lots of information and re resources available. Great. David, thanks for your yeah, time thanks today. thanks for having me. Until next time, this is Cindy Speaker for North Carolina Law TV.